In today's video, we are going to talk about how to use Telnet for troubleshooting. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Telnet stands for Teletype Network. Basically, it's a network protocol for text-based two-way communication through a command prompt or terminal and it uses the CLI. It allows you to remote access. Telnet is vulnerable to cyber attacks as it lacks encryption methods compared to the other modern SSH. However, it is still helpful for such tasks that do not involve transmitting sensitive information. Now let's see how does Telnet work. Well, Telnet protocol creates the communication path through a virtual terminal connection and the data gets distributed in band with Telnet control information over the transmission control protocol. Unlike the other TCP IP protocols, Telnet provides you a login screen and allows you logging in as the remote device actual user when establishing a connection on port 23. While this type of access grants you the direct control with all the same privileges as the owner of the credentials. That was a little bit about how does Telnet work. Now I'll show you that how you can enable or how you can install the Telnet in your Windows operating system and I'll show you that how it works in Linux distribution. Because in Linux we get Telnet by default. For Windows, just search for Control Panel. Here it is. After that, go to your Program and Features section. From here, go to your Turn Windows feature on or off. In here, you will have a small window. Look for Telnet. I will just press T. Here it is. I have already enabled it. In your case, this checkbox will be unchecked. Just check this one, click on OK, and you will have your Telnet. So I will just look for CMD. And in that, I will just write here Telnet. So here it is, our Telnet is working and it is up. Just write here help and it will give you all the commands that you can use in terms of using your Telnet on your Windows operating system. I will just quit from it. And now I'll head back to my Linux distribution and I'm using Ubuntu. And in that, I'll show you that how Telnet works. In the video, I'll also get back to my Windows operating system to discuss some really important points. So this is my Ubuntu and here I will use my Telnet and I'll show you that how we can access remote servers and different ports. So first of all, let's try the HTTP protocol port on Google and the port number for Google is 80. So I will just write here Telnet space google.com and the port number will be 80 and just hit enter. Here it says trying this IP number connected to google.com. It means the connection is established and the port is open, but that is not the case with Windows operating system. I'll shift back to my windows and I'll show you the same command and I'll show you what's the difference is. So here we are back to our windows and now I will use the same command here. I will write here telnet google.com space port number 80 and now if I enter we do not get any success message we only get success message on our Linux distribution in Windows operating system we just get this blank screen and this blank screen means the connection is established and the port is open if there was an error we would have an error on our command prompt in our Windows operating system as well same goes for Ubuntu. Now I'll head back to my Ubuntu and I'll use my Ubuntu for the rest of this video. Now I'll use another command and this time I will write here telnet minus four or dash four you can say space www.redhat.com space 80. If I hit enter again we have connection message. It means we are connected to our redhat.com on port 80. Well, minus four means here, we only want to use IPv4 address and Red Hat is the host name and 80 is the port. Now I'll use the port number 443 that is reserved for HTTPS. 
I'll use the same command, but at the end of it, I will just write here 443. The host name, or you can say the IP I'm using at the moment is google.com. So I will just hit enter and here the connection is established and the port is open. Now let me clear my terminal and now let's test a remote port. Well, there are many different ways that we can use to test whether a network port is listing on a system or not. Like we have GUI port scanner and map and we also have NC like netcat. So if I wanted to test whether the SMTP port that is port 25 is listening on a server with the IP address, I'm going to use the IP address as 192.168.5.5. For that purpose, I will just write here telnet space 192.168.5.5 space 25. Obviously, you might have an idea by now that 25 is the port number and this is used for SMTP protocols. And this is my IP address. Now I will just hit enter. Here it says trying. And when you do not get the success message right away, it means that we will not have a connection and as it says trying so we should have an idea that we will not be able to get connected to this port using this ip address now i'll use ssh service and for that the port number is 22 so i'll just write here telnet space google.com space 22 hit enter again it says trying it means we do not have port open on google.com for SSH service. At the end, I'll check FTP services. For that, I'll use a server, which I know is using the FTP server, and the server is hosted with the dream host. And the command for that is telnet space florida.com space 21. 21 is the port number for FTP services. Now, I'll just hit enter. And here it is, as we have the successful connection, it means the port number 21 mean FTP port is open on this host name or this IP address and it is successful. And here it says dream host FTP server, as I have mentioned that it is hosted with the dream host. And that was all about how you can troubleshoot your network and how you can have different type of connection with different type of ports on different host name and IP addresses. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.